Jontel White has now been identified as the man shot and killed on Division Avenue South early yesterday morning. He was a 30-year-old father of two. His family and friends honored his memory earlier tonight. News 8's Byron Tollison was at that candlelight vigil, vigil earlier tonight and spoke with those who knew him best. I think I need it. He'll give it to me. And... It's okay, baby. <laughs> He was just a good person to me. A good person to me. Two girls are now without their dad, John Tall White, a life taken by violence in Grand Rapids. His youngest baby is only one. We got to show her pictures for the rest of her life. His oldest daughter. That hurts the most because she had a relationship with him and y'all snatched that from her. His daughter's baby to Kayla and 11-year-old Zania. Can you tell me about the picture you're holding as well? Yeah. I was um, eight turning nine in this picture, and um, it was my birthday. It hurts for his kids. They need their dad. They need him. What about when it's time for her to get married? You know, her dad won't be able to walk her down the aisle. So that's been playing in my head. Around two Saturday morning near Division Avenue South in Rose Street, Police say someone shot Jontel multiple times before taking off. You have to have respect for human life. He was a human being. He was loved. He is somebody. Tonight, those close to him paid their respects by illuminating his neighborhood. So no matter what we hear, no matter how cold it is, what time of the night it is, we out here for him. So he know that everybody loves him. His mother is grieving. Um, it's all too familiar. John tells aunt asking why another life was taken too soon by violence. We hear about it in our community all too often um, that we are we're losing our sons to senseless violence. As his loved ones process an unimaginable loss, they say his legacy is his children. His flesh may not be here, but his spirit will always remain within his children. His children will carry his name on. On Saturday afternoon, police said their suspect was wearing a black coat and black pants when he ran off. Police have not named the suspect, and there's no word tonight if anyone is in custody.